Just a quick side note, I know in this video my eye is all red. Uh, that's because I was doing housework and insulation got in my eye, so it's all agitated. So if in the video my eye looks red, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's what happens when you don't wear the proper safety stuff. Okay? Enjoy. What's going on H2O Army? Justin from H2O Plants, and today we are going to be unboxing a super rare Anubis, actually several different types, and we'll be giving you an update to the 55 gallon. So stick around, you don't want to miss it. Hit the subscribe button to enlist in the H2O Army. Also, hit the bell to join our elite notification squad. I got a box here, courtesy of Han Aquatics, if you're not familiar with him. Uh, he's a good guy, uh, he sells plants on lots of the Facebook groups. He doesn't really have a YouTube or Instagram or anything like that, but he does have a ton of plants just like myself. And I have no problem uh, telling you guys if you need stuff, go check him out. He also deals with dry goods like shrimp supplies and other stuff. Um, he's just a cool, cool guy. I met him at the Aquatic Experience and uh, he hooked me up with this. I did pay for this, but he did give me a discount on all these plants because I was like, hey, I'm gonna spend a ton of money. You wanna give me a discount? So he did, he hooked it up. Um, but he, uh, you know, it's like one of those things like, I can only grow so much in my fish room uh, and my, you know, the plant vault or whatever you wanna call it. And, um, you know, he has a bunch of other plants that I don't have, nor have I, I've tried to grow and can't seem to grow. So if there's stuff that you're really looking for out there, give him a look. You know, maybe he has something that you've been looking for that I may not have. And, um, you know, pretty much go check him out. Link is in the description as always. But let's get into what's in the box. So uh, he did insulate it, which was very cool. Um, he bubble wrapped it. And we're going to take this out and we're going to throw this box to the side here. All right, so we're going to open this guy up. Um, he gave me a little sticker here, so I'm going to going to throw that on a tank at some point. Uh, so let's get into what we have. So um, this is a bunch of different plants, but um, the key point being is there is a very expensive Anubis in here, which we'll get to. It's going to be the very last plant here. But uh, this is Micro Bulbitis. And if you're familiar with the Bulbitis that we have in the 55 gallon, it's this huge plant that we have in the back of the tank. And it's just absolutely stunning. But I did really want to try this out. I've been looking for it, and he had some, so I did order a portion. It's super tiny. It's much like Anubis, it attaches to rocks and driftwood and wh whatever you want. And um, I'm gonna grow this in the foreground. We're gonna attach it to some wood in just a moment. So, uh, micro bulbitis. I also have here, uh, and I'm gonna probably butcher this a little bit, Anubis pangolino. Uh, it's a very small leaf variation of Anubis, much like Anubis nana petite, but the leaf structure is different. Most of these are mini Anubis or uh, nana, like a nana petite variations. So they're all different kind of leaf shapes and whatnot. This one actually looks like the leaf shape is kind of more elongated and narrower than regular Anubis nana uh, petite. So. There you guys go. Take that, take a look at that. It looks pretty good. Uh, then we got some Anubis Micro. This is another small variation. I have never seen this. I've never seen any of these really in person, but I am, a, like I said, this is for my collection, and I really wanted to um, take a look at this. This actually looks like it has uh, three little portions there, maybe. Maybe two. So that's pretty good. I, I, I like that. Uh, we're going to save that for these two for last. I don't know. Okay, yeah. All right, we're going to save that one. Uh, we also have Anubis Chili which is another small variation, uh, except this one has much pointier leaves than regular, uh, like the pang pangulo or the micro that I just showed you. This is bigger leaves than the micro and more pointier leaves than the uh, pangulo. You know, I don't know, I'm butchering the name. Um, I also got some floating plants. So this is a uh, Rickia Nathan's, I think it is, or Natan's maybe. Um, I, I don't know what it is. I, I love floating plants. They're really cool. So I chose to get that. I also have this Hygro uh, Arista, Aristia, which I think is another floating plant. I'm not sure. We'll have to get it in the tank and take a look at it. 
Uh, also on top of that, I got another form of Salvinia. This is a Salvinia oblong, or a, I, I guess maybe elongated, something like that. Just really broad looking leaves, really cool looking. <clears throat> Might be a substitute to like frog bit or something. We'll see how it grows and how it does. All right, so here we have, we're gonna work our way up. So here we have Anubis, I think this is Anubis Marble Nano or just Anubis Marble. And let's take a look at this bad boy. Oh my god. I am a sucker for variegated leaves. Hopefully that's focusing for you guys. That has such beautiful color. I love how it's split down the center essentially. Like the there's speckling on each side, but it has a split. But boy do I love a variegated leaf. Next up, Anubis Stardust. So if you're not familiar with my moss video that I did, the most expensive mosses that I, I got in, um, YouTube of course demonetized it because I used a certain word in the title and I said it in the video so there was no taking it back. So I would equate this to the same kind of stuff but I'm not going to because they'll be like, oh, demonetized. But uh, here we have Anubis Stardust and this one, hmm, it's not, well it is showing a little variegation there but I'm not sure if it, uh, how it's supposed to look exactly. I think it does get variegated, but it has nice round leaves, which is really nice. I, I like this. Oh, hopefully I don't break it. <laughs> Got to try and be very, very, very fragile or very careful with these things because they are super sensitive. And last but not least, the moment you've all been waiting for. All of these Anubis plants usually go for anywhere between 20 uh, well no, one of them's like $8, or no, $12 I think it was, or something like that. And they range anywhere between, let's just say 10 and $80 out of those. This one right here, this Anubis, is worth at least $100. So, let's open it on up. This is Anubis Stardust. Or no, I'm sorry, this is Anubis Snow White, not Stardust. Now, you can see here that the full leaf is essentially white with a green stripe down the middle. It's it's just all white. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It, it does need to be cleaned up a little bit. There's a little like brown or uh, black uh, spot algae growing on it that's fine once I threw this in there with the shrimp and the autos they're going to clean it up quite well and it's going to look very nice so this is Anubis Snow White now I got all of these Anubises and you may be saying how the hell are you gonna keep track of all these if they're all going into that one tank and you're right this is a lot I already have some rare Anubis in there they're eventually gonna get mixed in but I thought of a solution Got my driftwood that was in the tank here with a little piece of boost stuck to it, which is drying out. So we're just gonna give this guy a spritz while we're working on it. And what I have here is I have some colored zip ties. And what I'm gonna do is basically I'm going to keep track of each Anubis using a zip tie. So the color is gonna correspond to, actually this is a video I'm gonna use as reference. Uh, that, you know, like purple is gonna be Anubis Snow White. We'll use one for a different one and so on and so forth and we'll attach it to the driftwood using this and that way as it grows it's stuck to there and it's color coordinated so I'll know exactly what it is. So let's get with the Snow White first and we're going to attach this guy up. So I'll probably do this as a time lapse so enjoy the time lapse of me hooking things up. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.
Sometimes you gotta get in there and use use what nature gave you. All right. So there's all the rare Anubis there. So first things first, we have the Snow White up front. Uh, then what did we go into? Then I think it was the blue, which was the Stardust. Then the Marble, which is here. And then... <laughs> I lost track. Good thing I recorded it. This is the Micro. This is the Pendolino. This is the Chili. Or maybe this is... No, that's the Micro. This is the Pendolino. This is the Chili. So we have uh, six, right? Six, yeah, six different species of Anubis here that are all super rare. Uh, these all, all these Anubis put together is probably about three hundred dollars right here, maybe more. Um, uh, but yeah, so actually, I would probably say more because some of them are pretty uh, decently sized. So I'm just gonna trim up the uh, outer bits of the things here. so that way they're not too noticeable in the aquarium. Um, what we're gonna probably have growing over this too is some uh, Fissidens uh, Nobalis, so it'll actually probably hide these a bit more, but um, yeah. They're pretty secure. I'm not gonna over tighten them, I just wanna tighten them enough so that way um, they're gonna hold the Anubis, but it should be fine, I think. I think these will do just fine. Actually, as I say that, this one gets a little messed up, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, the roots, it's holding on with the roots, so it should be okay. Um, last plant that we have to secure here is the Bulbitis Micro. A little tiny portion of this. I was thinking of using zip ties also, or possibly super glue. I might be able to just wedge it on in here and see if that will do it. Yeah, so that looks like it's gonna stick there. So that's the micro right there. Um, just wedge it right in the crevice of the wood, and I think it'll do fine there. It should grow out. I'm gonna give these guys a little spritz there. And we are good to go. Let's go get these guys in the tank, and we'll take a look at them uh, being inside and set up. All right, guys, and that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below. What did you think about this crazy expensive Anubis? Is this something that you would buy? Is it something that you've always wanted but wouldn't spend that much money on? Do you think I'm crazy for buying it? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hit that like button. Share with your friends and let them see a plant nerd that spent an insane amount of money on the smallest plants possible. And I will see you guys on the next one. Have a happy and safe New Year's.
back. Yo, once again I'm back around. Uh, real shit back in style. Uh, haters wrecking style. Uh, I'm so black and proud. First class tickets now. Uh, feet all in the eye. Uh, 